Hi everybody, I'm Tom Griffith from Greater Formation and today I'd like to share with you some thoughts about how you can fill your life with God's presence and His power every day. If you've been around me very much or heard much of my teaching, you might have heard me refer to a reflective practice that I call yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Today I'd like to bring that again before you. Let's start with yesterday. I have found that yesterday is my greatest practice for developing intimacy with God and a sense of His wisdom and discernment in life. So I pull out my planner and I look at the things that I did yesterday and I consider them before the Lord. I ask Him if there's anything He wants to teach me or show me. Is there anything that I missed from yesterday that He wants to give me some instruction or some encouragement or some correction about. And so as I spend time considering the people and the events of yesterday, I grow in my sense of His presence, His tutelage, His care, His mentoring, His fathering, His shepherding in my life. And as I grow in grace about those things, about His presence, when I know that I have the forgiveness of the Lord, the forgiveness of Jesus in my life, I can look at the things that I've, I've, I've even done wrong, and they become actually fodder for me to understand more and to grow in greater wisdom. Secondly is the discipline of today. And this is where the kingdom of God really happens, right? All we really have in our life is today. All we really have is the now moment. So when we come into today, we want to practice His presence. We want to receive His love. So we lay today before Him. We Again, I look at my planner. What are the things that I'm considering doing today? And with those, I practice His presence. I imagine His presence and His insight. And I step up in the courage of the Holy Spirit. When you know His presence is there, when you know He'll give you insight, when you know that you're aligning your life with the kinds of things that He wants to do, then you just lay your day before Him and you add faith to that day. Faith that God is good. Faith that God dwells in you. Faith that He will instruct you. Faith that He'll give you favor. So you're laying those incidents, you're laying those uh, meetings, you're laying those opportunities of your day before Him. Because today is the day of the kingdom. The day of the kingdom of heaven coming to earth through your being. So as we reflect over today and we pray into it, we start to bring down the values, the power, the purposes, and the resources of heaven into our day. Thirdly, I want to just mention tomorrow. Now, tomorrow becomes a place of fear and doubt and anxiety for those who don't actually know how to reflect well about tomorrow. I want to encourage you that when you're considering tomorrow, whether that's literally tomorrow or the next stage of your life, The way to do it is to ask God to fill the eyes of your heart so that as you consider those things, you can simply lay them before Him. You don't have to pray really hard and plead with God for His favor or His success or that nothing will go wrong. Many times what we're praying about hypes us up into greater anxiety. See, tomorrow is all about trusting God. So as you open the eyes of your heart to things you have planned for the future, all you need to do is bring them before Him and trust Him and make simple requests of Him and rest. No big deal. Add faith. When the time comes, you will also have courage. Don't overthink tomorrow. Don't get overly anxious about tomorrow. Instead, faith, peace, trust. So when you consider yesterday, today and tomorrow on a consistent practice, your days become filled with the presence of God. You get the wisdom and the correction of yesterday. You get the presence and the power and the courage of today. And you get the faith and trust and intimacy of tomorrow. So would you consider practicing on a consistent basis reflection with the Holy Spirit, with the presence of God, over yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I think you'll find it incredibly helpful.